So news analysis for the date uh, August 6, 2023. The first table of contents, let us see. Uh, let us see the detailed analysis of the Digital Personal Data Protection Bill, Rohini Committee on Subcategorization of OBCs. Can India eliminate TP by 2025? Uh, first article, the Digital Personal Data Protection Bill. Uh, the, for prelims perspective, you have to know what is a Data Protection Board of India. Uh, data Protection Board of India will be established. Uh, board will be established by central government to monitor the compliances with the data protection laws, impose penalties, and hear grievances. For the Rohini Committee on uh, Subcategorization of OBCs, uh, there should be. Uh, uh, backward uh, classes group uh, submitted report. Rohini Commission G, Justice G. Rohini led commission on subcategorization of OBC groups has submitted its report on to the government. It was constituted in October 20, 2017 that we all know. Next article is Can India Eliminate TB by 2025? Moving on into the first article, that is um, uh, next. Be before that, we will see the prelims topics also. Clouded Leopard, Kutikannam, Palace, Jeda, NSA Conference on Ukraine, Organ Shortage Continues to Cost Lives, Sahiti Academy, Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization, Ukrainian Sea Drones, Parachutus Colossus, Indian Eagle Owl. Uh, first article is, uh, let us see, it's relevant to GS paper 2, Polity, what is data protection bill of 2023. The context of the news is all about, government of India has introduced the digital personal data protection bill 2023 in Lok Sabha, it seeks to protect the personal digital data. Objective is to ensure the data security and data privacy. Background of the information is, the right to privacy, the fundamental right in article uh, 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 fundamental right in um, right to privacy fundamental right in 2017 in 2017 what happened the ministry of electronics and information technology appointed bn shri krishna committee to submit a detailed report on privacy and data uh, draft the personal data protection bill the personal data protection bill was introduced in parliament in the year of 2019 and was later referred to the joint parliamentary committee following a strong opposition the bill was later withdrawn in 2022 now the 2023 bill has been tabled in the parliament who does it protect means it protects the data principles and data fiduciary Th those who are not known what is data principle and data fiduciary please go back to the videos in the august 2 and 3 and find what is data uh, principles we have uh, what is principles and principal and fiduciary we have explained it who does it protects means the new bill introduces duties and penalties on data principles the class 11 of chapter 3 states that uh, data protection has the right uh, has the right to request from the data fiduciary data principal has the right to request uh, from the data fiduciary a summary of personal data being processed identifies of all the data fiduciaries with whom its personal data has been shared and so on and the subject to a few exep exceptions are under class 12 users can see correction completion update and erasure of the personal data interestingly the provision which allowed the data fiduciary to reject this request has been removed users have also been given the right of grievances redressal that is class 3 and the right to nominate another individual in the event of death or incapacity to exercise their rights that is class 14 class 13 and class 14 um, criticism is regarding this uh, pillars while the impetus for data protection legislation must be to protect the data principles personal data from being unwittingly exploited the bill appears to be designed in a manner that this production is comprom compromised interestingly the bill further goes on to impose duties and penalties on data principle to e exemplify the above class 15 d of this chapter states that data principal must ensure not to register a false or frivolous grievances or a complaint with a data fiduciary or a data production board failure to adhere with this may enable the penalty of rupees 10,000. chapter 18 this is an onerous obligation which may effectively prevent a data principal from raising a grievances who does it exempts means uh, a cause of great concerns that arises in the bill is uh, is the exemption or exemption under the class 17 uh, class 17 
part 2a which if it if notified is granted to the government and its authorities on five specific grounds the ex- bill exempts the government authorities and notified marking um, marking a discernible expansion of the scope of exemption personal data which is processed for research archiving statistical purpose will also exempted ex- exempted from uh, under class 17 um, part 2b um while previous iterations of the bill also provide exemption this has now been broadened to the state that data processing undertaken by the union government on information provided to it by an exempted instrumentality will continue to remain exempted uh, from the purview of this law you have to know what is the data um, of uh, uh, what is you European Union's general data protection regulation defines as personal data means personal data is an any information related to the person that can be used to directly or indirectly identify them including name location data online identifier and identification number health information physical attributes economic and cultural or social identity of a person what does it seek to amend means the changes that the bill seeks to implement by the way, by way of class 44 are significant for instance section 43a of it act 2000 imposes an obligation on corporates to award damages to the affected person in case of negligent handling of their sensitive data class 4 44 class part 2 of the bill aims to exclude the application of section 43a thereby rendering an individual who has suffered breach of their data without any relief what does it seeks to amend means class 44 class 3 which seeks to amend the entire section 8 1j of right to information act 2005 replace it with the information which relates to the personal information has received a high criticism from stakeholders previously the qualifier existed which narrowed the information that could be withheld by the public information officers now the removal has no relationship to any public activity or interest or which would cause an unwarranted invasion of the privacy of the individual which widens the scope of withholding the information does it protects the users means a widely appreciated departure from the previous iterations is the data fiduciary's obligation to notify the data principal in case of personal data breach other obligations imposed on data fiduciary includes notifying the pay data principal about the purpose for which their data may be processed and the manner in which the they may make a complaint to the uh, dp digital personal um, the dpb withdraw uh, consent and seek a uh, grievance redress la let us move into the next article that is relevant for the gs paper 2 polity why are rohini panels finding important the context of the news is all about uh, the context of the news is the justice g rohini led commission on subcategorization of obc constituted in october 2017 submitted its long awaited report to the president of india on july 31 after having received 14 extensions in the last 6 years the president had formed the commission uh, headed by a former delhi high court chief justice g rohini in october 2017 to examine the questions of subcategorization subcategorizing the over 2600 caste group listed in the central obc list what what has the commission examined means in the notification announcing its formation the commission has was tasked with first examining how much of 27 percentage reservation in jobs and education and other government benefits meet for obcs was dominated by which caste groups the commission has arrived at a conclusion that a small number of caste groups among all obc groups were dominating reservation and other government benefits what has the commission examined means the commission went to uh, the commission went to went on to explore the way of subcategorizing the, these existing obc in order to make sure the benefits can be redistributed equitably this involves breaking up all the obcs or caste group in further categories based on how dominant the community have been in availing government benefits mean for obcs subsequently the commission proceeded to work out a formula for breaking up the caste groups in a way that would make the highest share of 27 percentage reservation pie available to the groups that have historically been crowded out of them the least share of the pie going to caste groups that have so far dominated the sphere 
Why are the findings significant means the Rohini's Commission's finding is expected to, to throw up the exact number of OBC communities that to have available availed the benefits since reservation for them began in 1992. This data set to set will uh, for the first time show that show the changes if any in the socio-economic status of OBC community that have historically been uh, able to avail the benefits, demand for caste census and electoral implications. Next article that we are moving is related to the TB detection. Smear microscopy share still holds sway. Uh, it's uh, relevant to GS paper. 3 science and technology according to uh, according to the uh, world health statistics uh, ta- um, communicable diseases in the sustainable development goal target 3.3 uh, end the epidemics of aids tuberculosis uh, that is by 2030 tb especially by 2030 malaria and neglectable tropical diseases and combat hepatitis waterborne diseases and other communicable diseases uh. the summary findings have found that tb incidence is around 10.6 million fell ill with TB in 2021 and an increase in from 2021. It's a developing and underdeveloped countries. Uh, deaths are, incidence of deaths are um, around um, 10.6 million. Uh, let us uh, move on into the World Health Organization's Global TB Report 2022. According to it, over 40% of people with TB across the world were not diagnosed in 2021. And in India, a large number of people with TB were diagnosed even prior to the pandemic itself. Smear, micro, smear microscopy, that is what given in that. And can um, uh, no a smear microscopy versus molecular test uh, see that... Uh, uh, see that in uh, close um, examination so that you can get more relevant information that can be useful for your uh, UPSC problems as well as mains. Can uh, India eliminate TB by 2025? In 2020, India renamed RNTCP as National TB Elimination Program NTEP to underscore India's goal to eliminate TB by 2025. Uh, as per the National Strategic Plan for TB Elimination 2017 to 2025, number of smear microscopy tests should have reduced for over 9.1 million in 2015 to 5.8 million in 2022. Molecular test increased from 40,000 in 2015 to over 13.4 million in 2022. Uh, uh, you have to see what is a smear microscopy and molecular test that I have told already. Okay. But in 2022, what happened? Uh, but in the sputum smear microscopy has about 50% sensitivity and cannot identify the rifamafin resistance, leading to many missed cases. As per 2014 World Health Organization gene, gene expert molecular test should uh, should be used as an initial digital initial diagnostic test. National TB Prevalence Survey Report 2019 to 2021 says nearly 64% in India did not get tested for TB. The patients with a subclinical TB may show no symptoms but may uh, be infectious, making it harder to achieve the 2025 goal. Let us see the molecular test um, are highly sensitive and can identify uh, rifam refam pisin resistance at initial diagnosis next next the article talks wholly about this only and we have seen all of it after which we will go into the prelims prelims articles that are uh, relevant for uh, UPSC prelims. Okay, the page the page one contains a cloud or leopard plays and hide and seek in boots. Reveals a uh, new study reveals endangered species does not follow any specific pattern of operating in space and unlike uh, other carnivores. IUCN status has given the status of uh, vulnerable uh, sites appendix one. It is also a state animal of Meghalaya. Scientific name of cloud and leopard is Neophilus nib- nebulosa. The cloud or leopard is an arboreal cat spends most of its time in trees. The average lifespan of the clouded leopard is 12 to 15 years. National park where it is seen in India are Bal- Balpakaram National Park in Meghalaya, Baksa National Park in West Bengal, Clouded Leopard National Park in Tribura, uh, Dipru Sahai- Saihova National Park in Assam, Kanjunjunga National Park in Sing- Sikkim, Manas National Park in Assam and Pounchpui National Park in Mizoram. 
நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆர்டிக்கல் தட் இஸ் ரிலவெண்ட் ஃபார் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி தட் இஸ் ஒன் தேர்ட்டி இயர் ஓல்டு கே பேலஸ் இன் கேரளா டு பி டிக்ளேர்ட் அ மானுமெண்ட் பிஃபோர் தேட் வி வில் ஆல்சோ சி த சுண்டா க்ளவுடட் லியோபாட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ டிக்ரீசிங் இன் நம்பர் அண்ட் க்ளவுடட் லியோபாட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஐயூசியன் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் போத் ஐயூசியன் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் இஸ் வல்னரபிள் சுண்டா க்ளவுடட் லியோபாட் இஸ் என்டமிக் என்டமிக் போத் ஆர் வல்னரபிள் க்ளவுடட் லியோபாட் அண்ட் சுண்டா க்ளவுடட் லியோபாட் போத் ஆர் வல்னரபிள் போத் ஆர் டிக்ரீசிங் இன் தி க்ளோ இன் தி ஐயூசியன் ரெட் லிஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் மூவிங் மூவிங் இன் டு தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆர்டிக்கல் வி வில் Uh, um, see some of the important information given in this article that is 130 year old kuttikalam kanam palace uh, which is the residence of the king of the erstwhile travancore said to declared as historical monument the palace which is in the bad shape is um, is situated on 14 acres in kuttikanam uh, yep. pichasku hill station lying between wagamon and thekadi in idiki district Uh, it was built in the year of 1890 the palace was constructed during the uh, reign of moolam tirunal ramavarma who ruled the trivango princely state from 1885 to 1924 the british planter j d munro supervised its construction the book idiki desam charitram sam Samaskaram by Manoj Mathirapilli the author stated that Trivanku rulers including Moolam Tirunal Ramavarma Sri Chitra Tirunal and Regent Rani Sethulakshmi Bai had stayed the palace around several times according to the book the palace had a special hall for discussing day to day administrative matters and street forms secret tunnel or the abandoned tunnel which opens from a room inside the palace is believed to link it with the famed peer made shri krishna swami temple okay that's all it's about the uh, peer made uh, shri krishna swami temple that is more important see that also okay then the uh, next to that um, Ne- next article that we are moving into is uh, related to international relations doval in jeda for two two day peace conference for ukraine jeda is a place in saudi arabia that we had already um, uh, discussed uh, the thing that we are noting from this articles are the ukraine officials to pitch for support from global south india keen to push for g20 consensus and uh, saudi arabia Uh, NSA Jeddah and Saudi Arabia uh, Arabia Russia has not been in not been invited to conference but a Kremlin statement said that it would keep an eye on the proceedings uh, national security advisor Ajit Doval joined the counterpart from other nations on Saturday at a peace conference on Ukraine conflict hosted by Saudi Prime Minister and Crown Mohammed bin salman uh, salman where the government has also hopes to build a some consensus of g20 declaration at next month in delhi summit which is currently at an impasse uh, the next thing is in particular the conference is expected to make a pitch to global uh, Uh, global south countries including india brazil south africa and mexico that have far kept a neutral stance neutral stances to take a keener interest in pushing the pushing for the end to conflict between begin in february 2022 uh, next thing that we are moving us uh, is about um, Ukraine is also keen on support for its president Volodymyr Zelensky peace formula which is includes a pull out Russian troops and hopes to host its own conference uh, 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 conference later this year uh, Jeda where, where he met his counterpart from US UAE and Saudi Arabia for quadrilateral talks uh, the way um the way that strengthens the international peace and security sparring um, um, sparring the world for further humanitarian security economic and repercussions of the uh, crisis the official saudi press agency said uh, ajit doval greeting indian embassy officials in the saudi arabia in jeddah is given in the picture next article is all about organ shortage continues to cost lives it is relevant to the governance perspective uh 
we we are we are seeing this article in the prelims perspective as a uh, national organ and tissue transplant organization what it is and for remains it is organ donation is important the current statistics according to the current statistics um india has waiting list india has a waiting list um of over 3 lakh patients for organ transplant at at least 20% die persons die each day waiting for an organ number of organ donors grew from 6916 in 2014 to only 16000 in 2022 india's diseased organ donation rate is currently under 1 1 donor per million population and it needs to be increased from 65 donations per million population to meet the demand of the organs Spain and the US have better organ donation systems clocking 30 to 50 donations per million. Reason for fewer organ donations are lack of awareness, religious cultural beliefs, fear of exploitation, lack of trust in the medical system, lack of infrastructure and lack of incentives for doctors. In the net graph India has a severe shortage of organ donors the organ uh, donation uh, uh, the organ donors has increased but this is still not enough to meet the demand of the organ there are many reason for shortage of organ donors including the uh, um, lack of awareness and uh, lack of trust in the medical systems so next the article that we are moving into is related to sahitya academy to publish poems from um, G20 nations. The Sahitya Academy means uh, it is an India's National Academy of Letters. It is an organization dedicated to the promotion of literature in the language of India. Founded in 12th March 1954, it is supported by um, though independent of the Indian government. Its office is located in Rabindra Bhavan near Mandi House in um, Delhi Sahitya Academy organizes national and regional workshops and seminars and provides research and travel gra- grants to authors publishes book and journals including encyclopedia of indian literature and presents the annual sahitya academy award of ynr um, 1 lakh in each of the 24 language it supports as well as sahitya academy fellowship for lifetime achievement sahitya academy library is one of the multilingual library in india with a great collection of books on literature and allied subjects it publishes two bi monthly literary journals like indian literature in english and samki samka samkalin bharatiya sahitya in hindi next article talks about lula to host south american me to save the amazon Uh, in this article talks about the Am- Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization. It is an intergovernmental organization formed by eight Amazonian countries like Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Peru, Suriname, Venezuela, which was signed by Amazon Cooperation Treaty, becoming the only socio-environmental bloc in Latin America. This treaty organization with a broad vision of south-south cooperation process works in the different dimensions within the framework of implementation of Amazon Cooperation Treaty. political diplomatic strategic technical building uh, synergies among the governments multilateral organization cooperation agencies organ- organized civil societies social movement social movements scientific communities and productive sectors and society as a whole my uh, amazon cooperation treaty is an international organization aimed at the promotion of sustainable development of amazon basin and its member states are already we have seen the amazon cooperation treaty was signed in july 3rd 1978 and amended in 1998 it was created in 1995 to strengthen the implementation of the treaty and the permanent secretariat was later established in brasilia in 2002 let, let us move on into the next article that is a ukrainian drone hit the russian ship in yet another sea attack uh, you have to note down the navo navoroshsk the port is located in the black sea next article that we are moving into is related to geography that is 340 tons whale species lived 39 million years ago uh, in this article we are uh, uh, seeing that the heaviest uh, previously thought to be the heaviest animal is uh, uh, ever to uh, ever to exist is the blue whale uh, um, this was published in the nature uh, uh, nature uh, mag uh, published in nature Okay. and the newly discovered uh, perusitus colossus is an animal species of whale is thought to be one of the largest and heaviest animals on record uh, earlier it is thought that blue whale is the heaviest one but now it is the perusitus colossus that is the whale uh, that is this uh, this whale species 
Persitus colossus species of whale. Okay, and presenting the heaviest animal ever described, the animal is modeled from partial skeleton including 13 vertebrae, 4 ribs, 1 hip bone discovered in southern Peru, estimated to be approximately 39 million year old and is predicted that the skeleton mass could be 2-3 times that of 25 meters long blue whale. The author estimates that P, uh, Perus, Perusitus colossus uh, has a body mass between 85 to 340 tons. Okay. Next article is all about uh, uh, enigmatic Indian eagle owl. And this Bengal eagle owl also widely known as uh, Indian eagle owl or rock eagle owl. It is a large horned owl species uh, native to hilly and rocky scrub forest in Indian subcontinent. It is splashed with brown and grey and has a white throat patch with small uh, uh, black small strips and it is earlier treated as subspecies of Eurasian eagle owl. It is usually seen in pairs. It has a deep resonant booming call that, uh, that may be heard at the dawn and dusk. This is what this article talks about and also you have to know the conservation status of this uh, is least concern in the IUCN. Site appendix 2 of the uh, appendix is present in this owl and it is uh, it nest near the agricultural land and scrublands that you have to notice. Okay, next thing is um, in some they are uh, foretold uh, victorious in battles in other they warned of approaching dangers and it is the call to identify them with wisdom the god goddess lakshmi uluka is an emblem of knowledge and prosperity okay this is the line with the myths in many cultures ranging from greek to ascetics of uh, presaging the powers of owl in general the negative superstition associated with the indian eagle owl makes us reflect on uh, ferocious ferocious defensive tactics in nesting areas the nest is up to four if uh, is with up to four eggs there is often no more than a scratched uh, out halo easily uh, approached by mongoose or a human and these owls show a heckling behavior uh, and will scoop down on intruding the persons and striking the head from uh, behind with its talon this is what it's all about. Next one is mains practice questions. Critically evaluate the digital personal data production bill 2023 with 15 marker that is 250 words and also 250 words on examine the recommendations of Rohini committee, committee on subcategorization of OBC. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do subscribe for more updates.